Oh my god, it's raining again. Hey guys, I just thought I would start the vlog. I was actually going to start before I went into my appointment. It's so hard for me to see. I'm just out of my laser eye consultation to see if I'm eligible for it. And I am. I'm so excited. But yeah, I just forgot. I completely forgot on the way and I had a long walk here. So I don't know what got into me, but I just completely forgot that I was supposed to. But yeah, my eyes are so blurry because I have to dilate your pupils fully. And I just can't see anything. They're really sensitive now too, actually. So strange. They were like, not too bad a few minutes ago. And then from looking at my phone, I really just can't see. But apparently I just need to drink lots of fluids and blink and it will be gone in a few hours or less. So guys, I actually can't see. So I'm sorry, I think I'm gonna have to go, but I'll be on later to talk. And more info. Well, to be honest, it's not much to say really other than the fact that I'm eligible. She said I had really big eyes and really big pupils, so it shouldn't affect me too much. <laughs> like I should recover quicker because of my pupils already being big, something to do with how they let light in and the recovery, I don't really remember, but however, that was so, so long. It was like the guts of an hour, it was like 15 minutes long, I think. The consultation, I thought it would be like 15 minutes. So I was like, don't worry, Con, I'll be out in 10 minutes, easy. And the poor guy's just been waiting for me. Luckily they're in Carcamoyne, so, so empty. I don't know why I literally have spikes, but what can you do? I can't help them. I feel like no matter how I tie my hair up, they're always there. But anyway, my hair also is darker. I did low lights in it myself. Um. Anyway, needs a wash. So yeah, I'm getting laser eye surgery tomorrow. That's why I wanted to come on. I'm really getting a bit nervous about it now. I won't lie. <laughs> um obviously anything new is a bit scary but something like that because I never obviously have to touch wood get anything done I'm I'm so nervous about stuff like that um but anyway I'll be fine <laughs> I'm just I also have fear because I was out last night so I'm just so like <laughs> oh I just can't wait for it to be over I'm like I'm I've been looking forward to it for so long and now that it's finally here I'm like wait I actually have to like go through this <laughs> hmm I'm so scared. That's the last time you're gonna see me wearing these babies. I'm so anxious. <laughs> so, so anxious. I'm literally gonna leave now in five minutes. Con's me. And then I'm gonna be there for like two or three hours, they said. I think you have to do like all the like tests and stuff that you have to do in the consultation first to make sure that like nothing has changed since then and that they're definitely still doing the same thing <laughs> on your eyes with the laser. Um, yeah, and I don't really know what else. I don't know if you have to like wait around for a while after. I'm not really sure. But yeah, they did say to me on the phone, you're not allergic to anaesthetic, are you? I was like, no. But like, I don't think I've ever had it. I'm just thinking. So I'm like, ah, oh. all these little things I just keep worrying about. But I'm sure I'll be fine. I probably felt worse last night than I do today. I still, like most of the day today, I've been okay, but I'm still just like, kind of waiting for it to be done with them. Like I kind of wish that they did just book in for like 8 a.m. this morning, but then it'll be harder to like stay off my phone and stay not in like bright lights and stuff. You know, it's just better. At least got a few bits and stuff done around the house this morning. And I was very tired and needed the lion too. So <laughs> yeah. Mm, wish me luck. These are all like on traps and stuff. These are my swimming goggles that I had to wear to bed last night. I thought they were clear until I looked in the mirror this morning and they're actually black. Which is quite cool because they obviously wear because they sunglasses as well. But yeah, awesome. But now I like, don't want to take them off and like attached. I'm too scared to actually look at my eyes. The best part is I can fully see everything. Like, Obviously my eyes aren't like perfect, they're a bit not loads of eye drops in them, so they're not perfect, they're a bit they've loads of stuff in them. I need to like clean them nearly. 
I need to put, we have this, I have this like drop that cleans them. So I'm gonna put that in, but I can read like the soap and stuff, which I wouldn't have been able to without glasses before. <laughs> it's weird, it's really weird. I feel a bit like, as it's going to kind of feels like I'm out of my body. It feels like I'm like the third person. It feels like I'm in a video game when I'm walking. When I went downstairs for the first time this morning on my own, I was literally like, I could see much better in the dark than I could before. And I also made this fight and I just felt really, everything felt far away or like it was moving at the wrong time. It was weird. But it's a bit more normal now. I'm going to look at my eyes. I'm so scared. Connor already saw the least without this um, blood shot, but they're meant to be blood shot for one to two weeks. It's fine. The pain, I don't think they're meant to be badly, but I'm scared. Do you want to do it with me? Oh my god, they're so fine. There's just loads of eye drops dried in there and so it's more of that. It's just the eye drops. They're not fine at all. A little fake away treat to make me feel better. <laughs> Morning guys. It is um name one day so two days after my surgery. I just woke up so like my eyes are just tired as well. But um, I've got like the shape of my goggles on my ponytail. <laughs> I hate the goggles. Trying to sleep with them is kind of annoying. But it's not as bad as I thought. I have to wear them for the next week. You can see them on my nose as well. Stunning. And I also just put in eye drops so I'm not crying. I just have eye drops in. Um, but yeah, Connie's just in the shower and I'm going to work for my parents today so I'm going to go up with him because I can't drive till after my first appointment even though usually they're signed off the day after but because I got my surgery done on a Saturday I probably already told you this but um the day after which is yesterday was a Sunday so I couldn't um have an appointment so I've got mine today at half two so I'm gonna finish up work a bit early and go down um to that because it's in Carrick Mines my mum and dad live close to that so I'll either walk down or if my dad's there he might hopefully give me a lift <laughs> um and then I should be able to drive my car home because um, Connor's car is actually around there and we're using mine because I couldn't go home. Oh, so, because Connor was out at a Christmas party on Friday, his car is left up there basically. So yeah, we'll get those two back um, later on this evening, hopefully, if I'm able to drive. I'm sure I will be able to because I can see perfectly. Um, yeah, it's really good it's really clear today like, I feel like there's like not really much blur still a little bit but then when I first wake up I'm like is there always now when you go from dark to brightness I'm not sure but um yeah they're feeling good and there's like not really much like bloodshed on them because they can be bloodshed for up to two weeks so yeah they're pretty fine so I'm hoping everything's fine in the appointment today and they don't say we made a big mistake we need to go back in and fix something because they don't really don't really feel up to anyone touching them even at the moment but i'm sure they're fine like i really am sure that they're fine but i'm just a warrior so yeah i'm gonna go oh, get dressed and let the dogs out and i'll talk to you later before or after my appointment i'm working away look where he just likes to sit. He just likes to be as close as possible. <laughs> I think he's kind of cold as well. And then Honey's here. And then Bunny, my mum and dad's dog's there. Perfect. <laughs> he's nice and warm. It's like hot water below my back. I'm just out of my um, checkup now. It was five minutes, ten minutes max. And it was a different optometrist, and she was so nice. Another one, honestly, everyone. Is really nice there but um yeah so she said my eyes look all good one of them's healing faster than the other because well my sight is like further ahead like i was able to read like the smallest writing in the eye test with this eye i think it was and then the other one i was struggling a bit more to read it um or it could be the other way around who knows <laughs> but yeah she was like that's normal that's absolutely fine um i'm back in again on saturday anyways she gave me some more intensive drops with my eye my left eye is a bit drier than the other but it's not bad it doesn't even feel dry really to be honest i feel like i just 
kind of was forgetting to put my drops in because I was back to work and stuff today, so it's probably just that. But anyway, no harm in the more intensive ones because can't have them more hydrated. I think it really helps um, when they're hydrated, when they're healing. Going to get my Christmas nails. I have no idea what I'm getting. Excuse the sunglasses, guys. That was honestly the most horrific thing ever. I haven't even looked at my nails yet. I literally thought I was going to pay for that full time. Honestly, I literally was like, I was dying, I was sweating, and it must be the UV light in the nail thing that was so stupid of me. I did not think of that. Well, like I did, but I didn't actually think of anything, you know, because I never heard I couldn't. Anyway, I made it through, and I literally was like manifesting and dreaming of getting to walk home and tell you guys this rather than faint enough to be collected in an ambulance. <laughs> I was terrified and the guy that was doing my nails was also terrifying so he gave out to me when I tried to get my sunglasses out so that's why I didn't get them out and then he was like don't touch nails so I'm like okay and then I panicked he goes put them up here so then I put them up there and I didn't get my sunglasses out and then lo and behold I fucking nearly fainted I literally was about to go back in the chair like that oh I still feel a bit oh now but I think the fresh air will do me good and honestly we live so close that by the time Con drives down <laughs> I'd literally just be back and I'm okay I'm okay I just it was all I was like it's all in your head it's all in your head I was just a bit of anxiety as well I really have really bad anxiety the last few days just because I'm such a worrier so I'm worrying about my glasses and stuff um well not my glasses my eyes um a lot and yeah I basically have like done something to my back and neck and stuff as well and my the pain is like inside my so it affects my chest and my breathing the last few days and the only thing that I can think of because I haven't been doing any exercise or anything obviously because I've been allowed um was that I was so tensed up while I was lying on the chair getting my eyes lasered <laughs> like I am my own worst enemy. I'm just so anxious that it makes everything so much worse than it needs to be. Like, none of this needs to happen. <laughs> but, um, yeah, anyway. Oh, honestly, my... I thought I was going to die. Well, when I got up off the chair from that, I was like, wow, I was so, like, tensed while I was lying there. I knew I was really tensed up. And then, yeah, it's really yesterday and today. It was bad, like I was crying last night. With the pain in my chest, I think it's anxiety as well though. I don't really know, but I honestly thought I was gonna have a heart attack. Like, maybe I'm just, maybe it's a panic attack, I don't know. But anyway, it's not good. Whatever it is, I'm struggling. Um, Yeah, I'm probably pushing my luck doing too much as well. Like literally straight back to work. And then because it's Christmas, I've just got so many things to get done. Like. I needed to get my nails done to get on Friday. Obviously, I didn't need to, but anyway, thankfully I made it through it. The nails survived. From what I can see, they look quite nice. Um, and yeah, I had to be like, can you please get me water? I'm sorry, I'm not being rude. I'm just sick. I really need some water. That's what I said to the other guy. The place I go, they're all, um, well, it's like, it's probably more guys that work there than girls. Um, and they're, I don't know if I can say it, but not be rude, I don't mean it in a bad way, I'm just saying they are Chinese, so I don't know if they really understood me that much. Anyway. Here they are. Worth it, except I don't know why that one looks like that. I think it's just my nails damaged and you can see it through it. Guys, excuse the like red cheeks and really, really pale face. I'm too scared to put tan on my face. I don't think I'm meant to put tan on for like two weeks, maybe a month. And I did it on my body because I was meant to have my Chris Kindle um, in like two days with the girls. But yeah, that's cancelled because of COVID. <laughs> Perfect. Um, bloody COVID will ever go away. But yes, it's only on my body now, my face. So I just thought I'd update you. Stay to me. I just had a shower. It's my first time washing my hair. <coughs> I think it said two days that you're meant to wait until you wash your hair and it's been a few now <laughs> I haven't washed it since the day of so I really needed a wash it's Wednesday now 
and it was on Saturday so <laughs> I waited a good few days um, and I have been showering with my goggles on because I've just been scared of the steam because it does say to like avoid the steam room and stuff but I feel like there's probably bacteria in there I don't think there would be in the shower so maybe like, I don't need them but obviously I couldn't wear my goggles to wash my hair because the like thing goes the whole way around your head <laughs> so it would be soaked and I just it just wouldn't work but yeah it was fine um absolutely fine i was so scared i was like oh, imagine the shampoo going in my eyes and like stinging the eyes off me i'd rather die <laughs> um <clears throat> so yeah i've got the hair washed i got the nails done kind of vlogged that yesterday probably not the greatest idea or else maybe it would have been fine if i just had my sunglasses on the whole time because it's too bright for me but like i said i panicked and the guy was kind of rude so <laughs> wasn't ideal i'm still a bit scarred but my nails are quite nice they're not perfect this one's annoying me like clear on the tip is too like big it's not right anyway they're nice they're just like french with a little tip um <clears throat> anyway we made it through it <laughs> like i said i got some done as well because we just kindled this weekend but it's not happening now anyways but then again like it's getting too close to christmas like i don't have the time to be getting stuff done after this I've, literally got all my Christmas shopping to do I have to go to London tomorrow because I have to like I've only got all I've got is con two pairs of vans that's it I haven't got the rest of his present I have an idea for it but that's it and I've got nothing for no one else nothing absolutely nothing nothing literally I haven't started it and I've got like no idea for anyone either so it's absolutely perfect so yeah I'm going to London with my mom tomorrow I will have to wear my sunglasses though because the lights will be way too bright in the shops we're going at night time as well, so I look like an absolute weirdo. People are going to be like, is she a celebrity? I'd say a few people will ask me, can they get a picture with me? Just because they'll be like, she must be a celebrity. But I'm absolutely not. No. Nah. Well, it look like one otherwise. I've been so, like, oh, I'm just so tired. So. Oh, yeah, I also went for my first walk today. Well, I walked back. I walked down to the nails place and back yesterday and I was okay with that um but yeah we were laid walk from like three days I think gentle walking so we just went for like a 25 minute walk I hung a promenade and I was glad to get out I actually was although I was quite dizzy today since my nails situation yesterday when I thought I was gonna faint and I was real dizzy and stuff I've been quite like I've been dizzy on and off like even when I got home last night I didn't even check in like I was really quite dizzy it wasn't nice it's like comes up and up and it's like your brain is like still adjusting to your new eyesight so of course it's going to be a bit like like some things are just a bit weird it's like they're moving at the wrong time but most of the time it's fine like at the moment my sight's absolutely fine and like the lights on in here as well i'm fine it's like certain light i don't know i think earlier on i was on the laptop for so long and I was really tired as well um, and like the blinds are open the sun was shining in I was just like a bit oh and I was starting to feel a bit dizzy then like if when I put my eyes back to put my eye drops in I was like real dizzy when I literally just went like that and to that I was full on dizzy um, which is obviously not right but yeah Calm was googling it the other day and it seemed like people had said it before and then I was googling it earlier and I saw more on it as well today so i was like okay fine must be normal calm was like maybe you should bring them and see if it's normal and stuff but i'm sure it is i'm sure it will pass why am i so wet i'm cold so i'm not even hot i'm not even warm anyway i've also had such bad pain actually in my back sorry i just i walked into the other room and then i remembered i forgot to fill you in on other stuff yeah it's such bad pain in my like spine and like it was my chest the first time i don't know if it was anxiety like it actually might have been and then my neck and stuff as well i think that's from sleeping like up right here because my goggles i can't really get comfortable with them on i can't really see from my side that well like i have been because the last two nights i've been so tired i've just been literally conking out so i literally I woke up one day and my goggles were literally in my eye I was like, that cannot be good <laughs> as you wish <laughs> I also haven't actually driven yet because I didn't drive home the other night. My eyes were so tired. It got to night time. We were at my granny's house because 
it was my uncle's birthday we were there till probably like half nine ten i'd say and then both of our cars were there it was also really icy out and i was like i don't actually need my car at home like i can't go to the gym or anything see any place i really drive during the week when i'm working from home and um, it's the first few days of the week i'm always at home so um yeah i was a bit like i don't need it so i just left it and i actually haven't driven now which my sight's definitely fine too it's like a bit blurry here and there like just in parts um I think it's normal they're said to have like little like dots kind of that you can see it's like the it's bruising basically in your eye but it looks like little like dots or whatever but like there's obviously nothing wrong with it it's common um so I think that could be like the little kind of dots of blur sometimes that you can see I don't even know like, I'm not even sure if I have them do you know what I mean sometimes things go a bit out of focus or it's a bit weird or if I'm too close to stuff it's a bit like ugh. I'm just adjusting to my new side basically <laughs> but yeah i think i've spoken for long enough to you you're gonna be so bored um but i just wanted to make sure i got everything out for the last few days because i feel like i've been bad at vlogging the last couple of days um so yeah but at disneyness if you um have had your eyes, eyes lasered you probably are watching this because you've already been through it so there's no benefit but just if you have or if you know someone has and um yeah they've experienced dizziness or whatever um let me know below um it's kind of just because i haven't fully experienced it before do you know what i mean everything's a bit more scary when it's new and um, so yeah i feel like i've been i'm so anxious so i make everything worse for myself like way worse for myself even after i was so anxious the day off i was, she was just like I cried a few times i won't lie but then i also cried happy tears when i saw con the next morning because i could see him so well so it's up and down when I'm really to be honest it's like bad and then I'm so happy at the same time you know but it's only a few days afterwards and it is surgery so it's hardly going to be an absolute walk in the park I don't know why I thought it was going to be so easy Um. anyway yeah I need to go get myself organised so that I can get downstairs and relax a bit before bed I feel like I'll put them in down too much as well so I need to make sure I get some rest before I go into the office for him. I'm gonna have to wear sunglasses in the office for him because I'm absolutely dreading it. I'll have to update you on how that goes but people think I'm absolutely weird and then I'll go to the drum and have to wear sunglasses there. I hope I'm able to both to be honest. But anyway yeah fingers crossed it's up 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 from here. It's been fine though like they're healing so well they really they, they feel fine like there's no pain whatsoever in my eyes there even when like they wear off when i go to sleep i wake up in the morning there's no pain they're kind of like a bit gritty like there's loads of shit in them kind of they're stuck together and very tired i think i am actually really really tired as well at the moment which is bizarre because usually i have to go to the gym and for a walk every day to be tired enough to go to sleep and i'm like well able to go to sleep at like nine or ten no problem even with the goggles on i'm getting to sleep which i didn't that well very first few nights and I feel like they do kind of wake me but like that'll just show you how tired I am because I'm such a bad sleeper so yeah there's definitely tiredness there like obviously the is my eyes are wrecked and I'm still like working all week so I'm on a screen all day as well um, and then usually to be honest I've been falling behind on like any of my editing or anything because it's just too much I feel like too much screens you know it's like doing bits and bobs here and there um, in the evenings but not my usual but anyway hopefully over the weekend i will be feeling better and i can get caught up on some bits and bobs and um yeah all be good so yeah um i will update you on how my next appointment goes on saturday and then i don't think my next one is until like january so i'll probably end the video after that and yeah i'm hoping it'll be fine pretty much by then um so yeah apparently like some of the light sensitivity ones can last like two or three weeks especially like stuff has like halos kind of they say on it that's true there's just like a circle around lights like all the christmas tree lights have just just like lines coming out of it and like a circle and the car lights and stuff in the dark but well that's normal um and so is the light sensitivity to like light like bright lights so that's why you have to wear sunglasses like did i fill you in on when I came home and stuff from the hospital, the hospital, the 
so dramatic from the clinic because basically I forgot well I didn't forget to vlog I genuinely could not physically open my eyes for maybe a split second to literally like I didn't like that I have to be honest but it wasn't the worst I just didn't let Connie go I said I literally just lay there and made him lie beside me in the dark and he read me um do you know dear Deirdre that the sun does <laughs> just people writing in their problems like she's like an agony aunt and um, we love so he was reading me them and we were listening to Harry Potter on Audible and just lying there and we ordered pizza and oh my god guys I was eating the pizza and I literally it was ham and pineapple that were the toppings I love pineapple on, on pizza um, I know some people don't but I, I love sweet and savoury together I just love it I feel like a little bit of sweet just like really breaks up the savoury <laughs> I don't know I love um, and yeah so basically <laughs> So because I couldn't see, I was just eating the pizza and I would just be like surprised every time I got a piece of pineapple, it was such a treat, like because I, I didn't know, you know he'd like usually look at your piece of pizza and be like, oh, there's loads of pineapple in this, oh, there's not much pineapple in this, you know when it's coming up, I didn't know when it was coming up, so I was literally just like so happy every time I got a piece of pineapple. <laughs> so yeah, that was it, really, it was very romantic, I just ate pizza with my eyes closed and we also got garlic chips and Colin had to feed me them on a fork. <laughs> poor guy like honestly hey was he still here because honestly i was like if we could make it through this we'd make it through anything because <laughs> so i was so um anxious i honestly i'm really i'm so bad i'm so lucky that i never have to have anything done so i feel like what i do i just i'm like terrified and i'm never like really really sick um either touch wood thank god <laughs> um so yeah even like just going to the bathroom come back to bring me well, then my trousers, like, obviously, I could feel where they were. I definitely could have done that, but he was just, like, helping me with every little step and, like, basically lifting me onto the toilet. I was like, I think I can find my way, like, <laughs> bless him. He was so good. And even tonight, he made me mushrooms to go with my dinner. Definitely just to cheer me up, because I was a bit, like, when he came home, I was like, I need to get out of the house. So I was glad that we went for a walk, because I was so scared I wouldn't be able to. We were, I was like really sensitive to like you know that my eyes were like really sensitive or like there was something wrong with me but really I think I just pushed my luck yesterday I have to get my nails sun where it's so fucking bright there's these two UV lamps like, of course I pushed my luck but I was also stressed because of your man being like rude and giving out to me and I didn't have my sunglasses on for that reason either so yeah that's what started it and then since then I've been dizzy so I was fine up until that point so annoying so yeah, I was like terrified afterwards that I like damaged my eyes or something on my sight's fine, so I don't think I have. I just oh, I hope it's smooth and I haven't set myself back on the healing, but they feel fine. So let's hope. It's just the fact that I was a bit dizzy and stuff earlier as well. I really hope it passes. Maybe I do just need to wear the sunglasses more, unfortunately. Oh well. <laughs> Anyways, I really am going to go this time. First time driving with my new eyesight, wish me luck. It's also icy, love that for me. <laughs> so far, I could drive now. I have to go into the office wearing glasses all day. I get to sleep with goggles on tonight. I'm so excited for a night's sleep without them. I mean, I'll have going up for my next appointment. It's a week later now. Just out now, she said everything is still fine. Just be careful. She's like, you have that surgery, so do this, be careful. Don't be doing anything silly. But okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just leaving. Mine's now actually caught, but when I first have done, which I'm happy with, and my appointment next, so I'm divided. So yeah, I'm not back till Jan now, which is brand. Guys, I got blue like glasses from Key Australia. I think it's called Key, isn't it? That's how you pronounce it. Um, yeah, I ordered them through ASOS. I think they're a 40 euro full price, but I got 20% off. Um, yeah, and then they just came in this little thing, and I have them on now. I actually don't need to have them on anymore because I've finished on my laptop. Up. Well, I'll be back on my laptop later, but oh, image me to just wear these all the time now. I'm basically, just have glasses anyway. But yeah, they're so cute. They're kind of like the clear vibe I had before. They're actually the colour pink, but they're more like a nude, like a beige hint to them. But they're so nice. They say key there. 
it will never focus <laughs> and on the side as well and they're so nice no i don't need to put them on what is wrong with me <laughs> sorry about the quality it's um early in the morning it's still dark but i was just thinking um i'm booked in tomorrow for my one month consultation so i probably should update you guys on that um i think my eyes have a little bit of an infection this week i won't lie so i'm hoping that they'll be able to give me some like antibiotic drops or something to help it's yeah it's really sore it feels like i've got like a headache in like all around here and stuff and there's like been bits of rotten stuff like not much but there's definitely something not right in another kind of way um yeah so i will update you on that tomorrow i'm so tired it's friday morning and i just i'm so tired i've been to the gym and had a shower and everything and i'm still not even slightly awake i need to go and get a coffee right now <laughs> Thank you.